Hai semuanya, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Berjumpa lagi dengan saya, Merba TV Apa kabar hari ini? Mudah-mudahan kabar daripada teman-teman semuanya Mudah-mudahan disehatkan oleh Allah, dilancarkan rezekinya Dan mudah-mudahan senantiasa selalu Allah permudah segala urusannya Amin, amin, ya rabbal alamin Oke, seperti biasa sebelum nonton video reaksan hari ini Saya, Merba TV, ingin mengajak kalian semuanya Untuk membiasakan diri istiqomah bersolawat Tentunya kepada baginda Nabi Besar Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Wassalam. Allahumma sholli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Mudah-mudahan beliau kelak senantiasa memberikan pertolongannya kepada kita semuanya, memberikan syafaatnya juga kepada kita di yaumil qiyamah. Oke, teman-teman, di video kali ini mari kita sama-sama reaction salah satu video yang berjudul tentang peran Malaysia dan Indonesia di akhir zaman. Syekh Imron Hussein dan video ini diupload oleh salah satu channel yang bernama Sahron TV. Silahkan bagi teman-teman di subscribe channel daripada Sahron TV. Nanti link video ini akan saya taruh deskripsi bagi teman-teman yang ingin nonton video aslinya silahkan kunjungi dan bagi kalian semua yang ingin nonton bersama dengan Merbat TV ini kita play bersama-sama videonya let's go oke okay, kita play sama-sama videonya oke okay. and in that lecture we said Israel cannot claim to be a khilafah state unless Israel is using gold and silver as money when that day comes that Israel brings back gold and silver as money, I hope I'm not alive. May Allah take me away from the world because the shame and the disgrace will be too great for me, for my heart. My heart will burst. That these people have to bring back dinar and dirham oh, dinar, dinar. while our people were eating biryani and going home to sleep. The shame and the disgrace will be too great. So I ask in that lecture that all those who hear my lecture Go and ask your scholars of Islam, wherever you can meet them. Even if you can't meet them in person, you can send an email to them and ask them politely so. We don't see this money in the Quran and Sunnah now. The money we are now using, is it halal or is it haram? And we don't want a private answer. We want an answer that we can publish. Okay? So you, could, you put some pressure on them. If they say we don't know, you can ask them, well, how long will you take? You want an answer. You can't remain silent forever. No. Okay. In the meantime, if it is possible to have money which is redeemable in gold, like Ahmad Sukarno attempted in Indonesia, that's why they overthrew him, that the Indonesian rupiah will have been redeemable oh. in gold, and you could go take it to some office and collect your gold, mm. collect your gold, redeemable in gold, then the Indonesian rupiah would have been halal. It's, redeem it's like a check. You can cash the check. Okay? It's redeemable in gold. Perhaps if that can be done, then that would be a solution to the problem. However, they cannot allow anyone to succeed. Oh, because if one country were to succeed, it would bring down the whole monetary system. Oh, berpengaruh sekali ya. Mata uang ini bi jika bisa ditukar dengan emas. Masya Allah, luar biasa. Apabila Indonesia atau bahkan Malaysia berhasil melakukan hal itu, maka akan bernampak buruk bagi negara barat. Bagi negara-negara yang pemahamannya itu kafir. Wow. Luar biasa, Bapak Soekarno ini ya Soeharto apa Soekarno kalau tidak salah barusan Bapak Presiden pertama Republik Indonesia Allahu Akbar Ini luar biasa, hebat lah So they will wage war To prevent oh, you, that's why they attack Libya They wage Oh apa, Apabila ada satu negara yang berhasil melakukan hal itu Maka mereka akan mengajak perang Wow, berarti sangat berbahaya sekali dampaknya ya Apabila satu negara alias negara muslim itu bisa membawa emas sebagai ladang perdagangan Maka negara-negara barat yang dimana menggunakan uang kertas akan terancam ekonominya Allahu Akbar, hanya saja Islam untuk saat ini belum memiliki kekuatan hal itu Tapi tak lama lagi Indonesia dan Malaysia akan menjadi negara yang paling ditakuti oleh negara barat Oke okay. 
to ensure that you do not establish a monetary system in which your money is redeemable in gold and silver. Mm. Okay? Okay. The Articles of Agreement of the International Monetary Fund prohibit the use of gold as money. Dr. Mahathir was not aware of that. Mm. I am not a politician. I don't comment on politics. But when someone does what is right, I declare that he was he did what is right, and I don't care who who is annoyed with me. A scholar of Islam doesn't bow his head before public opinion. Dr. Mahathir was not aware that the International Monetary Fund prohibited the use of gold as money. But Dr. Mahathir was able to recognize, as no one else recognized, that this was wrong. That this was wrong. That you cannot prohibit the use of gold as money. And Dr. Mahathir did what no one else did in the history of this country. Let me remind the Malaysian people, if they need to be reminded, that Dr. Mahathir did what no one else did ever be, ever did, and perhaps no one else will ever do. When I met him, I told him that. I said, you only you the second one to do it. The first was General Charles de Gaulle. General Charles de Gaulle recognized that this was wrong, this was unjust. Bringing a new monetary system in the world and in order for this bogus system to survive, you have to prohibit the use of gold as money. So Charles de Gaulle stood up in the French National Assembly in 1966. That's why the French people love Charles de Gaulle. And he blasted them. In the French National Assembly, he blasted them. And he declared this to be an unjust monetary system that you brought into the world. Berarti begini teman-teman ya, kita telah dibodohi oleh negara barat Ya kita bertanya kepada ulama dunia, ulama islam yang ahli dalam hal sejarah Apakah kita haram memakan menggunakan uang kertas? Jawabannya adalah insya Allah akan mendekatkan kepada barang-barang haram teman-teman Karena ini adalah uang palsu, transaksi palsu Sebenarnya di dunia ini yang berat dan yang harus kita acungkan adalah yang dimana emas itu menjadi uang transaksinya dan mereka akan terancam apabila emas unggul dalam hal bertransaksi ini mereka akan terancam dan berbahaya bagi mereka dan ekonomi mereka akan terancam juga maka dari itu umat muslim mari kita bangkit karena ada dua negara yang sangat kuat dalam hukum-hukum islam yakni Malaysia dan Indonesia teman-teman oke kita lanjut and so they took out their knives for him yeah and they finished him hmm And after Dr. Ma, after Charles de Gaulle, the only other one, the only other one was Dr. Mahathir. And so this country should be proud of Dr. Mahathir. Asbanga. Because he recognized what no one else recognized. Oh. And no one else dares to recognize. They don't have the courage to recognize what he recognized. And tonight I have to give credit where credit is due, regardless of the price I have to pay. At the time when I said that Dr. Mahati was only the second, I was wrong. I didn't know he was the third. I didn't know that there was one before him. I didn't know that there was one before Charles de Gaulle. But he's today forgotten. They call him a playboy. <laughs> Ahmad Sokano was more Ahmad than a playboy. Sokarno. Ahmad Sokarno was more than a playboy. When Indonesia became independent, Ahmad Sokarno called him the Olana. He had the courage to do it. 
And he asked them about this money. Oke okay, teman-teman, kita skip dulu ya. Saya bangga menjadi orang lahir di negara Indonesia ini karena Indonesia salah satu juga negara yang dimana ulama-ulama Islam ini sangat-sangat banyak sekali dan baik sekali teman-teman. Dan salah satunya juga Malaysia. Allah akbar. Saya merinding mendengarkan uh, ceramah daripada Syekh Husain Imran ini. Allah, 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 Allah. Oke, okay. kita play lagi ya. I'm not the scholar of Islam. You are the scholar. Tell me, how can we have paper and money? How can we have paper as money? And the ulama replied to him and said to him, the paper would be halal only if it is redeemable in gold. Oh, uang ini yang kita gunakan bisa menjadi uang halal apabila uang ini ditukar menjadi emas sebagai uang transaksi. Allah akhar mudah-mudahan selama ini apa yang kita makan dengan uang kertas itu tidak menjadi hal-hal yang mengharamkan bagi kita tapi yang jelas ini akan menjadi uang haram Allah akhar bagaimana tanggapan teman-teman silahkan komen di kolom komentar mari kita play lagi meaning you can take the paper and get the gold at a fixed rate so the paper will be like a check so Ahmad Sokano decided that the Indonesian rupiah would be redeemable in gold and he fixed the rate Hebat. but the people who want to rule the world they had made that haram in the articles of agreement of the international monetary fund so they had to launch a coup rid of oh, Sukarno Uh, we said that an alternative could also be where you establish markets in which you use actual gold and silver for buying and selling. And in Hari Raya Haji or Eid Al-Adha, you have to buy animals to sacrifice. So I don't know what you use, whether you use ringgit or rupiah or whatever. I use dinar and dirham. <laughs> yes, I bought my animal with dinar and dirham. Yeah, and then we had the sacrifice. Uh, if we could encourage this, this is a micro response. Uh, before the war takes place, okay, make sure you have at least a hundred dirhams at home. It may be two dirhams a day for food, two dirhams a day, depending on the size of your family. So at least for 50 days you have food. Make sure you have at least a hundred dirhams at home. And if you can have some dinars as well, alhamdulillah, that's even better. Okay? This is another response that you have. Finally, we said that one of the prophecies of Prophet Muhammad is that in the end time, the earth will vomit from its liver columns of gold and silver. The likelihood is that this will take place in Indonesia. Yeah, because of the volcanoes of Indonesia, they call a ring of fire. And these volcanoes are all already producing gold in Java, okay? Uh, when that gold comes into the world, that gold can then be used to fight the monetary system. Yeah. I think that's enough for today. May Allah take these words all over the world of Islam and may Allah take these words also to our brothers and sisters all over the Orthodox Christian world because we are one family, you and us, we are one family. <coughs> and that we may now wage the struggle to restore the Khilafah state somewhere on Allah's earth. The Khilafah state being defined as a state in which Allah's law is supreme. Oke okay, teman-teman semuanya itulah video reaction hari ini. Buka dan lihat apa yang terjadi teman-teman. Hanya uang ringgit dan uang rupiah yang hanya bisa ditukarkan dengan emas. Tapi negara barat itu mengharamkan. Tidak apa-apa. Yang penting kita apa yang kita makan adalah halal. Dan apabila kita makan menggunakan uang kertas ini. Apakah 
uang ini akan menjadi uang halal apa jawaban para ulama itu menjadi uang haram bisa halal dengan pengecualian apabila uang ini ditukar dengan uang emas dengan emas dan dibelikan dengan menggunakan emas Allahu Akbar apa yang terjadi hanya Malaysia dan Indonesia yang sangat berperan dan ditakuti oleh negara barat ini terbukti teman-teman Allahu Akbar Oke, okay, itulah video resen hari ini. Bagaimana tanggapan teman-teman? Silahkan komen di kolom komentar. Jangan lupa buat rekan-rekan yang suka video resen hari ini, tinggalkan like, share juga, dan subscribe channel daripada Merbat TV ini. Kita akhiri dengan kalimat Hasbunallah wa dibalwa kaliman maula wa liman nasir. La haula la kota la bilahi la alilazim. Kita ketemu di next video berikutnya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.